Today I'm going to talk about two really good tools that can make car repair much easier. Now people are always asking me, how can you work on these modern cars? There's no working room, you can't even get your hand in places. But there's tools that can compensate for that. And this flex gear wrench is one of them. It's got a regular open end wrench, but it's the other end that's important. It's flexible and it's very thin, but it has a ratchet inside. This particular one is made by a company called Gear Wrench, but there's lots of them out there. You can take your pick. And here's how it helped me on this job. I had to change the alternator on this Toyota Echo, and the bolt that holds on on the bottom is close to the frame. So that gives you two choices. You can take the motor mounts out, jack the engine up in the air, and then have room to get it with a regular socket. But that's pretty much a gigantic pain. I'd rather use one of these flex wrenches to get to it easier. To get to the bottom bolt, you reach down under here and use the wrench and stick it on. Since it's so thin, it doesn't matter how close it is to the firewall, you just put it at an angle and start pulling. Ah! Then the bolt comes out, nice and easy. We don't have to deal with jacking the engine up and down, thanks to this nice little tool. Now you notice I've got a whole set of them, and if you want the truth, I didn't buy any of them. I got them sent to me free. But then, of course, you might say, great, Scotty gets free tools. What good does that do me? Well, it can actually do you a whole lot of good. Because with over 83 million YouTube views, people always send me tools, and I try them out. As you can see with my messy and totally filled up garage full of tools, where even the tool drawers are overflowing, I get to check out all the tools first. The good ones, I make videos about. The bad ones? They end up in the recycling bin, and I've never heard from again. And yes, I admit in my garage, I have tools that I've never even used. People sent me to them, but I never had a use for them, so I never had to use them. And in the case of these gear wrenches, yeah, I've got some of these that I've never used. So, you can make more sense and buy only the ones that you need. So let's say you work on all the Japanese cars well, you'd want to get a 10 a 12 and a 14 millimeter because those are the ones that they use that are commonly hard to get to bolts. You don't need to have a whole set like me, although the whole set does look cooler. Now the other cool tool I'm going to talk about are these Vampire adjustable pliers. Now the main problem with pliers are, especially these slip ones are, they often slip because the teeth get loose and they start slipping on the bolts and you can rip your fingers apart. They do have some serrations here when you look at them head on, they're just flat, and they often slip and rip your fingers. But if you check out these vampires, yeah, they look like little piranhas. They have actual teeth in the front, so they grab and they don't slip. One of my favorite uses is getting these stupid radiator clamps off. Since they have great bite, when you grab them and squeeze, they don't come popping off. They easily slide off. I can't tell you how many times when I used the old pliers, they'd slip and I'd rip my knuckles. I haven't torn my knuckles at all using those. I'm sticking by them. <laughs> they have all kinds of uses, like if you have a rounded out screw or a bolt, you can just grab it and it comes right off. You don't have to worry about strip bolts. This will grab them really good and you can pull them without them slipping. So continuing my effort to help you fix your car easier, now you know about two really cool tools that can help you do it. But I have to admit a little self-interest in this one. I'm a tool addict. I'm addicted to tools. So if you have any interesting tools, why not send them to me? If I like them, I might even make a video about them and help everyone else out. Because really, tool addiction is a victimless crime. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.